All right, shop build update time. If you guys are new to this series, I am building my own dive shop in Sierra Resort here in Dowin in the Philippines. I chose Dowin uh, because, well, I mean, long story short, I used to be a travel writer. I used to uh, travel to all these scuba locations and just write about them, test them out, film, all that. And I absolutely fell in love with Darwin for many different reasons. I fell in love with Philippines. I fell in love with Indonesia, uh, Malaysia. But when I had to choose the very best dive location, dive destination to start my own dive resort, I chose here in Darwin. So I finally got it. And this series uh, is all about me building my dive shop. So I think this is... I don't know, this might be part 10 or 11, but you should, after this video, go start at part 1 because I, I think it's really cool all the progress we're making. These, these buildings were little shells with nothing in them and we got the windows up and everything. So, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. For the rest of you that have been watching, welcome back. I just got to the shop. Oh, man. We're so busy, so many things to do. Uh, I, don't e I really don't even know where to start. Uh, I guess let's update you from yesterday. We went diving last night, just out here on the uh, house reef. If you don't know, I got my own little house reef right out front, right on the beach. And it was insane. It was a really, really amazing dive as usual. Uh, for those, I just bring my my friends. We just go out, man. Just no more work, no guiding, no student, nothing. Just a few cameras, man. And it was we got some amazing footage. So I'll have to show you guys that pretty soon. Um, we also got Instagram and Facebook. If you guys want to follow that, it's Critter Hunter on Instagram and Critter Republic Dive Center on Facebook so that was an awesome dive uh, this morning I got emails from SDI TDI uh, I am officially an SDI facility and hopefully by the end of the year I will be a SDI ITW facility where we could do instructor training and instructor trainer training here uh, at the end of the year so that's pretty awesome we had to have an instructor trainer on staff and we will we will mark he's an instructor trainer with all the other agencies he's doing his crossover and two months to SDI to be he's he's all, he's an instructor for SDI but he's doing a crossover from SSI and Patty to be an instructor trainer so then will be an instructor trainer facility here at Critter Republic. So that was an awesome email. It should be up on their website, SDI TDI, or TDISSI.com, I think it is. Uh, and if you search for Critter Republic, or you search for dive shops in Dowin, I should be, I haven't checked it, I just saw the email, I should be on the map on their website. And that, that just makes me feel good. We're making progress, huh? So what else? We got about a thousand shipments, uh, deliveries in the last couple days. Just haven't had time or energy to unpack it all. We're still finishing the classroom. Hopefully, I'm still waiting for the flooring. That hasn't arrived yet, so I can't finish that completely. You guys saw me, I think you saw me buy steel the other day to build the big custom six by five classroom table. Well, my welder got in a car accident. He's been in uh, he's been unconscious for like a week. So, shout out to John. Uh, but we had to have somebody else come and hopefully I, they're not going to be as good as John. But hopefully they build me a good enough table. And if it is good, we got to do the camera, the the counters for the camera room. You know, the padded nice camera room, uh, and then some other tables. So hopefully those are good. Uh, I really don't know where to start today. Maybe I'll just uh, show you around what we're going to do in the classroom today. I also got some furniture coming for the office. I don't know where to start. Let's see. Check this out. I got about like 
40 fins. Because we have a huge group next month. And we also got people... Oh, God. We also got people asking about just renting uh, fins from the resort uh, to snorkel out front. So we got tons of guests at the resort that just want to go snorkeling right here. So we're renting out fins. And of course, we have all the masks and everything. Uh, but we also have a huge group of divers coming in less than a month. And all their, you know, all their fins arrived so that I don't have to uh, rent fins. It's hard. <laughs> when you start a dive shop, you need a ton of gear and then with things like BCDs, wetsuits, and fins, and boots. You, you, you don't just need 10 pieces of gear for 10 people, you need all the sizes as well, so it gets really expensive. This. <laughs> so as I was filming, we got a whole bunch more shirts show up. So now there's pink, burgundy, that color, oranges, purples, Ooh, I think that's red, a dark blue, that's kind of cool and uh, all kinds of color this one we can't keep on the shelves as soon as I hang this one up oh it doesn't look good on camera but everybody loves this color I might even steal it Mark yeah. how's uh, Diesel the dive master trainee doing today He's excellent in navigation. he did the uh, he, he finished the navigation speciality today one more dive. Oh, one more one of our guests did a church tour today. How's the how's the how's the tours today? You did some tours. You all right? Short. Just got some tanks back. Right now they're using this room as a tank storage, but pretty soon it's not gonna have any more tanks because I'm gonna have the nice floor. These windows are breakable. I don't want any heavy things in there as soon as we get that big, nice table in there. Uh, so, they're gonna, my dive master is gonna have to carry them over to the tank storage room. Stop using that. That's, a, that's our classroom. I don't know if you guys saw, but we got a whole bunch of uh, posters and stuff from SDI. They brought them. And stickers. We gotta put the other sticker there. And then some posters. I got a whole bunch more posters and uh, flags, TDI flags, and then we can put those up. Getting some, I, I made this awesome map, map poster, I guess. I gotta get that printed out. It's like a map of the Philippines, it's awesome. All right, I think you're distracted by all these guests, but well, that's good, that's a good problem to have. You guys feel free to Come say hi anytime. Me and Judy are always here. Not to mention the dive masters and uh, Mark, the instructor, and our other instructors. Purple. Let's see what else. I got a whole pile of boxes here. I guess I could show you what we got. We're not going to open everything, but let's see. Some of the stuff that arrived. We got some paper because, let's see. We got a new printer. Oh. Got a sweet new printer that Judea is like proud of. And a uh, fax machine because we're doing a lot of uh, courses. They have We have to print off the, uh, the liabilities, insurance stuff, the um, questionnaires. If, if you're already if you're over 45 they have to get a doctor's checkup so that we have to print those off a little questionnaire for the doctor to sign all kinds of stuff we have to print got, got more shirts so I got to get these shirts I got to get these shirts up on the website uh, we don't have a lot of designs up there yet so that you guys can order them maybe by the time this uh, Here's a, what do you call it, uh, for diving or swimming. My, maybe by the time the this video is up, we'll have the designs on the website. But if you're in town, come pick one up. These regular ones 
are 750 pesos. These ones, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep them. And then we got tank tops. <laughs> They're kind of sold out. No, we got some here. Tank tops are 500 pesos. They're pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, we got a bunch. 500 for tank top, 750 for a uh, regular shirt. We got a, some big freaking posters, but I gotta wait for better tape. It should, should arrive in the mail today. Double-sided sticky tape. Got a whole bunch. Uh, our ACs arrived. Giant two horsepower split AC is gonna go up there on this wall. And then when we open this wall, it will uh, cool both rooms. Two horsepower is kind of overkill for this tiny room, tiny office, and then tiny classroom. But I will cheap out on a printer. I'll cheap out on uh, a laptop for the office, whiteboards, whatever. But I'm not going to cheap out on an AC. A cold AC will... Uh, I'll be happy to sit in here and work, get stuff done. I still have to, I mean, oh, oh, the website is finished. I can show you that um, a little bit. I mean, it's not finished, but it's up. I had to, I had to get the landing, the homepage and everything up because to make it an SDI facility so that it's on their website, but it's not finished. It's never going to be finished because we're making a massive species index and all that stuff. I'll show you later, but creditrepublic.com is live. That being said, I'm not gonna cheap out on the AC because I need it to be freaking cold. A subscriber and a friend gave me this. It's a giant, uh, uh, what do you call it, speaker bar, I guess. It'll go with this TV. This TV, I think they said 43 inch. 43 inch flat screen. That is gonna go in the classroom next door by the um, by the white whiteboard at the head of the classroom table. So I'm not even gonna take that out yet because the classroom table hasn't arrived yet. It's being built. But what I need to do now is rearrange this whole room, take down the whiteboard, move this stuff, move, take out that fan. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put that display, but need to move the desk everything because tomorrow hopefully we're gonna cut a hole in the wall and right now I got some office furniture coming so then I when that AC is here I could take out this AC move that away from the plug-in put that shelf somewhere else I will have gear and office stuff for sale in the office and then parts and classroom materials a shelf in the other room. So let's do that now. It's nice seeing people out in the ocean. You know, my own guests, my own divers, everybody out in the ocean. In my own house reef. Share the adventure, SDI. I really hope that's recording. I have no idea. bunch of webbing. I need to cut these to make weight belts. Maybe today or tomorrow. Yeah, damn. The sound and everything goes in the classroom. But since we're still building the floor, cutting this hole, everything tomorrow, I don't want to get a lot of dust in there. So I'll just put it somewhere for now. Sir Alex. Hello. Hey, can you help me carry these to the uh, gear room? I just need a... There's so many. It's hard to carry all these freaking... These are uh, snorkel fans for rent. 
because everybody's asking me to rent uh, Twin Peters, yeah. I don't know there's a lot of uh, there's like every size of snorkeling fin and then the masks and everything Alex went to go buy uh, crates okay. and then uh, we can put them inside the crates 42, 43. All right. So there's, there's a whole bunch. Here's these. Yeah, but I got a lot. Yeah, these are dive fins. There's, they're what I use. I'll leave some for sale. We can put the other ones in the gear room. Here's 38, size 38s I think. They're all gonna hang later, but for now. Uh, here's size, uh, here's the big ones, 42. Okay, that's that's fine for now. I'll hang the snorkel masks right there for rent. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah. That was a huge one. Yeah, it's pretty big. But we had a freelance instructor here yesterday doing his own students, so they pay me for the tanks and the gear and the pool and everything. Cool. I keep my mask and my my own fins. I need to get a yeah. It's a good spot, huh? I need I need to figure out a different hanging system for the regulators because this is kind of for boots. You're supposed to dry boots up there. Yeah. So I need another hanging system in this room. Maybe right here, somewhere. I mean, I, I I don't really want to put them this close to the gate because technically somebody yeah, could yeah, yeah. reach through and grab them during the night. At night, even though you know, I got yeah. I mean, if they're right here, I mean yeah, you can put here like uh, yeah, I'll put something there. And plus, I got some surveillance cameras coming yeah. and surveillance motion detector lights, like huge ones. So I don't think anything will ever happen. Did you see we put the, uh, uh, we're putting this, sh yeah, shower, shower curtain, or a uh, fitting room curtain. Oh, nice. Yeah. Since you're here, maybe you could help me uh, move some stuff. I gotta get that fan and stuff out of there, and I wanna put the desk diagonal right there. Use all the bags for the fins. I'm gonna put like a little table right here maybe for the printer or maybe right here. They can, uh, be well, we don't need these we don't need these table chairs anymore. We don't put them outside the window. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
they have to install it or else they won't put the warranty. So we're gonna put the, the door right there. So I need to find a place for these uh, shelves. Get this shelf. Oh. Let's go get the furniture so I can see where they where they fit. You know? Yeah, where does it fit? We couldn't get them all in the car, so the Kuya is gonna follow us and uh, deliver. So we got a couple chairs and a little table. I just think these uh, natural, I mean, it's, you know, it's varnished and uh, water sealed. I just think that clear coat is better than this orange stuff that they do. I just wanted it natural looking, but still protected from water and moisture, humidity. I think it looks better that way. <laughs> I'm not talking, not, not helping anyone. Let's go, Koya! Sierra Resort, where the Critter Republic is. Home to the Republic of Critters. Salamat. I'll put it. I'll put it here. Hello. How did you get to well, we got the couch things. We just definitely got to get the cushions. I didn't put anything on that wall because the door will be there. We got the TV and stuff ready for tomorrow. Hello, Judea. Oh, you're moving the printer over there? Okay, so we'll move the printer over there. And then this will be, it'll be a lot less cluttered. Wait, I can do it. All right, printer is in. And that shelf, well, we could take away that AC tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Probably put that shelf in the other room because the other room will need the shelf for classroom materials and stuff, but also, we might need that here, so we might just have two shelves. But, looking good, I guess. They put the other long sofa chair there. I guess that works. They need to get that stupid mop thing out of here. I, I kind of got to yell at the waitresses to stop using the wash tanks for their little mop cleaning area. She locked the gate, but we got all the dive crates. A whole bunch of them so that uh, our divers can just, you know, if they're staying more than one day, they can keep their dive gear together in their boxes. That one over there is mine. It's a little bigger. So uh, looking good. Got a lot done today. Nothing like too crazy uh, physically like construction, but lots of stuff. The, the iron company, the furniture company, they're building our big table now. That'd be awesome if they were finished with that tomorrow because the AC people are coming tomorrow to install that. And then uh, I gotta clean out this room and make, oh, you know, if the AC people come tomorrow, we'll cut that door. Yeah, that'll be cool. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We are building Philippines' newest dive center. It's gonna be awesome. Like I said before, you can come down and see us anytime. Even now, we're not done yet, but we're getting there. And we got plenty of people here uh, visiting us anyway. So, see you guys tomorrow.